who should go to Worlds and who should skip it for Ice Dance. Now for men, I had originally said Nathan Chan has too much on his place on his plate to properly train for train for world. He should enjoy his Olympic moment and cash in. He doesn't need to go to world. But then we were told that Nathan is going to world. But then we were just recently told that Nathan is not going to world and that instead he's going to be replaced by Cadman um, Polkinen instead of Jason Brown, which I don't quite get what the U.S. Figure Skating Federation is doing. Does Jason Brown not want to go? Um, I didn't quite get that. But at the very beginning, I didn't think Nathan would should go. And in the end, it turned out that he's not going. Um, I said to St. Vincent, this poor kid had a really rough Olympic and last world was a nightmare for him. So hopefully this will be his redemption moment. I said, send Jason Brown. This will likely be his last competitive season. And I would love to see the program once more on international stage of course the u.s figure skating federation decided not to go with jason they decided to go with cadman instead i said if Ilya um Mackinen has his minimum technical score as the heir apparent to u.s men he should go he got that technical score and he is going and right now, it looks like he is going to be the hope for the American men to retain three spots because Vincent's under rotations will very likely be called by the judges. As for Cadman, he's a hot mess, unfortunately. So a lot of pressure will be put on young Ilya's shoulder. Hopefully, he handles it well. Again, why I feel the U.S. Figure Skating Federation needed to send Jason, a senior, well-established male. But whatever, they'll do what they want to do. As for Japan, I didn't think Yuzuru Hanyu should go. I felt like he should rest his ankle, um, especially after all those quad axo attempts. I think skipping worlds would not be a big thing for him and that it was time for Hanyu to do some self-care. I felt like maybe he could take a year off, film a romantic drama, you know, one of those um, Japanese romantic dramas, 12 episode. I would love that. I, we can watch Hanyu for 12 episodes as he falls in imaginary love. I was right. Hanyu decided not to go to Worlds because of his ankle. Good to know. I said Shoma should go. This may be one of his best chance to get a world title. Also for him to skate two clean programs, I really want to see this. I'm not picky. I will take either a world title or two clean program. Um, I said that Huma Kagiyama should go because he has a great chance of coming home with the title. As for the third Japanese men, I said sent Kazuki Tomono. He was just an all-around beautiful skater, and with more experience, I could see him winning medals on the international circuit. However, Japan had decided to send um, Kawa Mura. However, we just learned that uh, Mura is pulling out, and Kazuka Tomoto is going. So that prediction I made turned out to be right. Then we came to the Russian men team. I said I would send Yevgeny Sem um, Semenenko. He was the top Russian men finisher at the Olympic. I think that justifies sending him. I said we should send Mark Kundratik one more time for Ice Jesus. And then, of course, we should send Mikhail Kulyada. The Russian the um, Russian Figure Skating Federation did Kulyada dirty. And honestly, they don't deserve him. And I wish he could change federation. However, since that's not likely, I felt like a medal for him at Worlds would make everything a little better. Again, none of this is applicable because Russia is banned. So all of this was moot. I said Cha Hyun Wa should definitely go. He is riding a momentum high and a medal at World is a great way for him to end the season and set himself up for the next year. I said Kevin Amos should go. This was a difficult season for him and two clean programs at Worlds. 
could be the mental reset that he needs for next season. Um, I don't see why the Italian men, Daniel Grasso and Matteo Rizzo, would not go. With his technical component, Daniel has a good chance of even finishing on the podium at this Worlds. So definitely send him. I said Boy and Jing will probably sit out this world and enjoy his good skate on home ice. He should try to cash in. Instead, I hope they send um, Young Han. He's the reason that China had a spot for men at the Olympic, yet they did not let him perform at the Olympic on home ice. He's a beautiful skater and we need more of him. Of course, China decided that they were not going to send a team to this year's world. So this became another moot point. So this was the this was the video that I had planned to make. However, everything has been changing so fast that I just thought it would be fun to see which part I got right and which parts I didn't get right. But I'm going to make a second part for the ladies in pairs. But you guys tell me, who do you think should skip the 2022 Worlds and who do you think should go and will benefit from the 2022 worlds. Leave me a comment.